Hey guys, welcome back to Chana Itigo Fani Lungu, back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do. Never goes unnoticed. Hope you guys are doing alright and may you stay blessed. Motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just give me the name or the link down below and I'll be sure to check it out. So today I'm going to be reacting to David Wood's debate, fails and highlights. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. If somehow Christianity was dominant and you could privilege Christianity through policies that would, you know, basically through force of law, privilege Christian belief, incentivize conversion to Christianity, uh, even punish blasphemy, let's say, but you can strike that if you don't want it. There's still law and order. You're not forcing anyone to convert, but you're just ha establishing a system where Christianity is uh, privileged. And you said, you said right now that, yes, you would want that kind of system Did because not. Christianity is the best so you no. want a system, you want a system, like you're the, you're the king, but you uh -huh. want, you would have like a Muslim vice president or vice king and your administration would have Hindus and Buddhists and, and Muslims because it's freedom and equality for all, right? According to your system, right? Let, yes let, me just no? give, let, let me just give you my view because it might help you understand things. No, I no, believe, just answer the question. Just answer I'm the question. Don't give, I'm, go I'm, on. I'm, you I'm have these very wrong you're, answers, you're, David. There, there's a huge you can just say yes or no. Why no, can't you say a, yes or no? There's a huge misunderstanding here. You assume that, that political power is good in the sense of if your group can get into political power, then you can implement your policies. I view political power as something that will corrupt people once they have it, almost, almost inevitably. So if you take Christians who for three centuries have never crossed their minds to get violent, suddenly you give them a bunch of political power and they've been persecuted for centuries now, it's a it's a pretty natural inclination to say, all right, now we have to now we have to stop and never be in that situation again. So let's go out and and strive for uh, to maintain this sort of political so, power. So you think that Christians should never have power um, because it, power corrupts. So Christians should never strive to have power. You want to live in a world where Christians are always being dominated by other groups? Not not what I'm saying. Not what I'm saying so at all. I'm there, saying there are two cho choices here, David. Christians are dominant. They have a dominant system that privileges Christianity or Christians are being dominated. Those are the only two options. Logically, I which would, one, which I one do you not, prefer? I would not trust a system where Christians dominate and enforce Christianity. On, on other <laughs> so, people. so you want atheists, you want atheists to be dominant. I don't trust or any Muslims. of them. That's the point. That's the point. <laughs> that's the point. I don't trust. I don't trust anyone who's going to be implemented, implementing these kinds of policies. That's why if you're going to do anything, the best case scenario would be something that is best for the most people where the government actually says, OK, there are certain things that we're not going to interfere with. If you guys get violent, then, yes, we have to we have to interfere with it. If, if one group is going to subjugate another group, Daniel, you're, you're free to walk down the street and preach your religion. I'm, I'm free to no, walk not. down the street and, and no, you're not. preach my religion. You're not free to preach your religion. This is I'm something not. else I want to respond to. You're not free to preach uh, the Bible. Go to any European secular country. There are hate speech laws. There in Finland, they just put someone in prison for uh, oh, then, sharing then verses. Then, yeah. then, then they would then they would be screwed up. Then that would be messed up if you're if Why? you're punishing people. Why? It's for, hate speech. For hate it's hate speech. Hate, yeah, it's hate speech. No, no. How, how is that? Uh, the notice, secular notice. justification. The because secular justification is that these verses are hateful. You can't teach these verses because I don't. But that's the point. I don't want governments to have that kind of authority over people because inevitably they become they become corrupt and start and start crushing people. It's very simple. Don't uh, you know? Don't stop what I don't stop me from saying what I want to say unless I'm calling for you know violence or something like that. You're saying they're doing it too. Great. Then I don't like it when they do it. I don't like it when they do it. I don't like it when Muslims do it. If Christians do it, I wouldn't like it when Christians do it. You want Christians to be dominated, so that means you no, want... No, it's not. No, it's not. I would like a government that does not, that doesn't dominate us, right? So you you're want a secular me, liberal, you want a secular me, liberal you're, government. You're asking me what kind of government I would prefer. It would not be, a, a, it would not be any sort of government that is oppressing me or telling me I can't, I can't preach the gospel or, or anything like that. 
I'd be fine with a, a king if he's a good king. I'd be fine with democracy if it's a, if a, it's a pretty fairly well informed people who uh, aren't sending uh, sending us into insanity and so on. So I'm fine with all. I'm so, I'm fine with a variety of Daniel. What what is I, it? I, Tell I me have, what this government I have, is. I have I have no concept of here's the government that I want to impose on the world. And you're saying, David, what what kind of government would you impose? I don't want how to can, impose. How can you I criticize? Don't want to impose no, 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 no. You can't criticize Islam and Islamic governance of and Islamic law if you don't have an alternative. What of, is of the course, what is the I can. alternative? I can, I, I can what say is almost, the alternative? I'm saying say that Islam is the best alternative. Islam is the best alternative, and you're saying no, it's not. Okay, so give me your alternative. Uh, I, I would say clearly almost, it's not a Christian dominated I would, alternative. I would, Islam, yes, it has discrimination, mm -hmm. but it's actually discrimination that is more favorable to Christians, and there is literally not like, a like, single like killing, alternative. Like kill, there like is literally them. not a single alternative to Islamic law that David can propose that is better for Christians. And that's why you're floundering, David. You can't give me an example. And you uh, even say that, well, I, my job is not to give you an alternative example. Okay, so you can see that there's literally nothing better that you know of to Islamic law. If someone, if someone leaves Islam and converts to Christianity, uh, and under Islam, you would execute him. You don't see why I would think that's actually worse than, I mean, here Do you know are. the history of convert, secularism? Do you I know how convert. many Christians were murdered in the French Revolution the by the about? atheist? Yeah, you don't know what yeah, I'm talking horrible. about. Yeah, great, great. Yeah. I don't, that's like, a secular that. I don't, that's I a don't secular like that system. either. Listen. So let, what's the alternative? Daniel. My argument is that this kind of discrimination that you're whining about okay, and other apologists, that's something fundamental. No, it's discrimination. That's something that's inherent to any government system. And the then, modern, then the top, the modern the secular topic, system discriminates topic, and persecutes Christians much more violently than anything that Islam has done. And the history of secularism has been far more violent uh, in, in persecuting Christians than anything that has been done in Islam. We're debating do, do you think, whether do you think Islam Holocaust calls for... deniers, do you think Holocaust deniers should be banned? I want to see what's your level of free speech absolutism. Do you think like no. Holocaust denial? No, no, I think you should. I think you should expose them. I think you should expose them as stupid. Okay, so, you, so yeah, you, no, I, I'm, I'm not so, an abs you, I'm not an ab I'm not. I'm how about, not, I'm not, how about a government? How about a government? Okay, policy that says that if you're a Holocaust denier, or let's say you're a member of the KKK, you're a neo-Nazi, you're a racist, you cannot be in uh, certain levels of government, you cannot take public office, you're banned from those positions. Do you agree with that? Um, I, I, I'd have to think about it again. Daniel, I'm not, I'm not. So neo-Nazis, neo-Nazis are okay to take official positions in the government, according to you. Uh, no, I, I mean, what, what, what sort of, what sort of, uh, I, I just want to see I, I, which, I, I, which what, beliefs, what which beliefs do you want to discriminate against? Because you say that you're open to all beliefs. There shouldn't be any policies <laughs> no, against any, no, any belief. What about neo-Nazi beliefs? What no, about KKK? KK? So those, so in your My ideal goodness. government, Daniel, in your this ideal is, this government, this is such a simple your, topic. This, why is, are you, this happens, well, don't this happens, in, don't this interrupt happens me, David. in so many debates. Do this not, happens in so many debates. Do not interrupt me, David. Let me finish my thought. Uh, hey, first, you are, first, uh, first, I ain't you are okay. I ain't you here. You, soon, you're, maybe soon. Everything you're saying maybe is soon, David. Don't Don't speak too soon. It's not end of the debate over. We don't know if you're going to be my Vimy or not. Answer the question. Are you fine or are you not fine with having neo-Nazis, KKK members, people with these kinds of beliefs, outright racism? They're not violent. They just espouse this kind of white supremacy. Are you fine with them being in positions of government, public policy, and being able to like preach their their view, views about white supremacy? I, I think you I think you have some people who aren't terribly far off some of that and especially in Europe you're getting people who That's not aren't an answer. very who aren't very far off from that. You, you approve missing, of that? Do you approve you're, of that you're, or not? No, you're you're oversimplifying it. If you wanted to rule, <laughs> listen, if you wanted to rule people out, you'd have to describe the policies that would be used and show how they would be implemented in order to ensure that certain people with certain views are excluded. And if those policies... Do you think they should would, be excluded? That's the question. If those policies... You're, you're just rambling. You, you're have avoiding to see, the question. Dude, I'd have to, I'd have to see the I'd have to see the. You have to see the because, policy. The policy is neo-Nazis and white supremacists cannot take public positions in government. So the go they the cannot government, be public the, school the, teachers. The government they only be, says that. The, the government yeah. only says that, right? Yeah. 
Just yeah, no neo Nazis, right? No neo Nazis. Yeah, neo Nazis, no no KKK. I think it would have to be more general. It would have to be <laughs> if you if you hold views if you hold views in the government calling for. Uh, you know the the racial su superiority of of one group or something like that. Uh, then, again, I don't I, I, I don't know how you do this. You'd have to. You, it's not something you just decide and say this group is is magically banned. And again, totally, completely, utterly irrelevant. Does. Yes, it is I relevant. Why it is relevant. The topic. So, okay, Does so Islam neo Nazis. Require no, 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 let me point out the inconsistency so you can understand it and the audience the and the audience can understand it. You started out by saying that you wouldn't want to ban any kind of people based on their beliefs. So presumably you're okay Didn't with Muslims, that. with Hindus, with uh, Satan worshippers even in, in government. You want everyone to have a fair equal shot at being uh, in, in government. Then I asked you about KKK and neo-Nazis and white supremacists, and you said, no, 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 we should, we should have limits on those kinds of beliefs. So that means you're, you have more of an allegiance to secular liberal uh, ideas about blasphemy and what is out of bounds than you do of Christianity itself, than Christian norms and Christian values itself. That's the contradiction in your perspective. Right, right now, right now, Christians... Christians have enough. I mean, there are two billion Christians. We make up a third of the world, world's population, and we have some of the most powerful countries that the world has has ever seen. I, I don't see a lot of Christians saying, "Hey, we need to go around." Christians and, are not in power today. Christ, liberal atheists, liberal atheists are in power, not Christians. Christians are being jailed for citing the Bible. Christians are being called domestic terrorists when they go to their local schools and they demand that their children aren't taught Satanism. That's what that's the reality of Christians. Are, I'm surprised that you're trying to defend modern liberal secularism. It's shocking to no, me. No, Muslims, Muslims aren't in power. You guys are still talking about going around and subjugating the world. I acknowledge that. I acknowledge yeah, that. I know. I know. I, I know. We're and honest. That's, what, that's, that's the what honesty. That's the that's honesty of I'm Islam. Saying. You say you're honest about it because it's actually part of your religion. So it's not really a choice. It's part of your religion, your religion Other, too. It, it's not built into my religion, dude. Yes. You, you, you it is. About? Do you have a moral objection? Sometimes God just wants believers to engage in expansionist war. You conceded that in our previous debate. There you, there you misrepresent what I said too. Sometimes, okay, this is the statement. Sometimes God, sometimes God just wants believers to engage in expansionist war. Sometimes in human history, maybe not now, but at certain points in history, God has wanted believers to engage in expansionist war. That's true, right? Jesus wanted that at some point. Yeah, as um, as testified to in the Bible, yes or no? Concede it. Say thought, it. I thought I made this entirely clear. Say it, David. Save it. No, because it. It, no, because it's misrepresented. You're misrepresenting everything I'm saying. The right Bible. Now. What Sometimes you just said, God what you said. No, wants listen, believers listen, to listen, engage listen, in listen, expansionist listen, war. Listen. That's what the Bible says. You mean sometimes now? No. So listen. Not now. I didn't say now. Okay. Sometimes let in me the explain. past. Let, let me explain. Because I thought this. Here we go again. Because I thought this, I thought this was totally clear, even though it's completely irrelevant to this debate. In Christianity, we've been commanded to love everyone, to honor all people. That's what we. That's what we've been commanded. You, you would honor point them out, by subjugating you would, them. You would point out, no, that's what we're told. We're not. Uh, we're not honoring them by subjugating. Now you're doing what you did with the definition of uh, persecution. Well, it's it's still just you, you to love them, them by so killing them. You love them by killing them. No, <laughs> look, that's what you, Augustine argued. We are not. We are not. Uh, we are not in a position to uh, to say that sort of thing. Um, if we are told, Augustine to, said it. If we are told to live in, you can go through all the contextual um, uh, points that you want. No problem. I have no problem with this contextualization. I call it the magic of reinterpretation. Actually, you engage a lot of that, David. So no problem. Do do that all day. But the point is that there is no moral objection that you have to expansionist war to vimitude, 
to jizya, to punishing blasphemers, to killing heretics. You have no problem. You have no moral objection in and of itself to those things. No, you, you can't because Jesus commanded those things in the Bible. Christianity, whenever Christians have had power in their history, regardless of what David Nothing and his, his magic of reinterpretation, they have violently persecuted and subjugated. They have killed the most people in the past 200 years as a religious group by far, by far, as Christians. So this does have something to do with the debate because given that reality, yeah, Muslims are going to have certain policies that will try to limit the control of Christians in, their, in the Islamic lands because they don't want to be massacred like these Christians have been doing for the entirety of their history. Because we claim that Jesus is the Son of God, we have to be silenced by enforcing uh, dimitude on us. And the pattern is we can either convert, we can uh, relinquish our rights to at least publicly proclaim the gospel um, or we can be killed so that's obviously the violent persecution of christians if it's hey we have to violently subjugate these people to keep them from saying jesus is lord islam does not subjugate christians for teaching their religion ahlul kitab ahlul dhimma the protected people within the islamic state are allowed to teach their religion in their churches and their synagogues, they are allowed to raise their children as Christians, as God-fearing Christians. Islam does not prevent Christians within an Islamic nation to teach the Trinity or to teach any of those kinds of beliefs. So this is a misrepresentation from David. If you go to Muslim societies today, you will find Christians that are teaching the Bible, they are teaching the Trinity, and in many of these Muslim societies, the Christians are actually doing very well socially. In Egypt, the richest Egyptian family is actually a construction company family um, that are, who are Christian, Coptic Christians. Throughout this debate, David has not answered a single question that I had. Literally, very basic questions that even the Christian audience who are watching this are probably ripping their hair out asking, why isn't David able to, for example, say if he does or does not want neo-Nazis serving in government positions or should those kinds of views be deterred or prevented? He, like such a simple question he did not, not answer that he didn't answer the question name me one system that doesn't discriminate against religious minorities name me one daniel has no moral objection to alcohol because god allows it sometimes so do you have a moral objection to abortion when god has allowed it before so if, if daniel actually wanted to know if i were making rules if I were making rules, and this will, this will get me in trouble with, with, a, with a lot of people, if I were actually making rules and I were king of the world, I would outlaw abortion. I would not trust a system where Christians dominate and enforce Christianity. 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 Um, this, this video is actually all over the place. Um, maybe it's all over the place because there's many cuts to this. We don't hear certain things that they talk about. This thing of religion is what's actually, um, kind of our downfall because we want to separate ourselves by religion, by church, by denomination, by what what exactly are we gaining from that that's why we think my church is better than yours my this is better than yours my religion is better than yours my country is better than yours do you understand um we need to get rid of these barriers because um, many forces are playing this situation they jumped from many questions to many to other things like talking about the kkk talking about um hitler's thing what's it the nazis there's so much going on in this video like what exactly do you want someone to say i don't think christianity is supposed to receive him i really don't think so and um there's just so many things that one can talk about concerning who should be in government why do we have to put one my issue is why should one person be in government why can't we come together unite recognize that what people that were people and rule 
keep that's why some places actually keep religion out of the workspace you know because it creates confusion it creates an enmity among workers and uh, there's nothing wrong with wanting something secular because at this point in time something secular is something that many of us want i don't care what religion you're coming from we can work together you know but then should we exclude uh, certain people like satanists whether we like it or not there's satanists that we go to school with that we go to church with that we we do many things with you know we just don't know and i don't even think satanists uh come out like that of course we know that the worshippers out there but they don't come out and say hey i'm this no they don't um that's what i'm saying this conversation was quite confusing i don't even know what to talk about i don't think anyone wants anyone who will practice racism like you don't want to work with a racist person you know because the environment is just going to be wrong let the racist people work with the racist people let those that hit hit from outside you know i don't know but for certain things like the kkk which is frowned upon it's been there for years years and i'm sure they've grown now i don't know if they're in the millions in numbers or what but they've clearly grown in numbers since they formed whatever they formed and i remember i was watching a video of a youtuber that exposed the kkk in the uk no in the us he flew from the uk to the us i think you know so there's this documentary on youtube and just to see how things go down it's like they've got their own community but then why base your foundation on head why base it on head it's one thing to want to preserve your kind whether you're white whether you're black whether you're muslim whether you're christian whether you're whatever it is that you are it's one thing to want to preserve yourselves you know but to want to preserve your soul's best on head is what i really don't understand in this world build on something positive build on something good i wish governments could do more to get rid of people that are racist not get rid of them like to just stop the practices you know but they've been in existence for long they're still existing clearly the government is not doing anything so what can we as people do about that let me know what you guys think and concerning the nazis uh hitler when you speak about that situation you're bound to be cancelled look at kanye west he was cancelled a few weeks ago he's still talking about hitler just the other week so i don't know i i really don't know this we're living in a funny world is what i can say let me know what you guys actually think about the conversation that was had here i wish they the person that cut this decided on specific cuts so that i get the full conversation otherwise it's very very hard to comment anyway let me know what you think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video